Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at another ink. <clears throat> today it's going to be Organic Studio Henry David Thoreau Walden Pond Blue. Heck of a name. Um, so these are a very interesting ink. It's from a very small manufacturer named Organic Studio. Um, as far as I know, it's really just one guy. Um, so these inks aren't always in stock. Um, this one currently is at Goulet. Uh, it is a 55 mil, mil, milliliter bottle, goodness gracious, for $13. So it's a pretty good value. Um, but the biggest reason these inks are so popular right now is the shading and the sheening. It's ridiculous. It's crazy, the color change in these inks. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it. One thing I'm going to do a little differently, though, I'm actually going to show you the box for this because... The bottle isn't that interesting, and I'll go over it more in a second, but the box um, has some pretty interesting, interesting stuff on there. So it has Henry David Thoreau right there. Yeah, he's an author, if you aren't aware. Um, so it says, Organic Studio presents the Masters of Writing Series, volume number 14, Handmade Maryland, name of the ink. And then if you want to pause this and read it, you're more than welcome to, but just has something um, there about Henry David Thoreau. The ink bottle size, and then the... Uh, website as well as some notable books he had written um, which is I think very very cool um, very plain cardboard package otherwise let's go take a look at the ink bottle um, very tall very uh, somewhat slim at least very wide neck for filling from um, this is great I gotta be honest guys if this were a glass bottle instead of pla it's plastic if it were glass though this would probably be my favorite ink bottle of all time. It's like there's no way you're not going to get a pen down in there. Oh, it's got some ink on me. Wonderful. But it's great. Um, I, I don't own a single pen that comes even close to being too too wide to fill this from, so it's fantastic. Let's go and take a look at the um, ink swatch here. So, yeah. So ba the base color is this kind of... Uh, it's a lot more of a green than a blue. It does have a slight bluish tint, but it's mostly a green. But with a little bit of shading, but the sheening from the red and purple kind of tone, eh, it's amazing. And no, this ink is not wet. There's also no glitter in this ink. This is just ridiculously reflective for some reason on just the reddish purple parts. It's crazy. Um, I actually haven't seen any of the, the shining until I did the I, I dip these cards just to get the best kind of representation of the ink and then I'll write above it but until I did this in there I had never seen I thought it was wet and I was like gosh it's taking forever to dry no it's just that's just how it looks and I'll see the back here as well so it's a very interesting color and here's the writing you can see there is definitely some of that blue but a lot of it is that purplish red and it's kind of hard to catch but it it, it does show up well, yeah, you can kind of see it there. Very, very interesting color. It's crazy. Um, this ink is amazing. Um, let's go ahead and get into the writing sample real quick before I gush too much over it. I'm just, I'm, I'm really impressed with this one, guys. Okay. <clears throat> As usual, got the Lamy 2000 here. So let's see. This is Organics Studio. I'm not writing all that out. I'm just going to put Walden Pond, which is what it's most commonly known as, as far as like in the fountain pen community. I'll do a few passes here, but it's a very, very interesting ink. Um, it's super wet. I love that. I, this is... I have another one to check out from the same brand. If it's as good as this, this might be my favorite ink brand of all time. This is this is insane. Just the the flow on these is crazy. So I'll go ahead and kind of bring it up here to the camera a little bit so you can see um, see a little better. And it's still wet. I'll do a dry time just here in a moment. I just wanted to show you. You can kind of see it changing color already. Um, up top, you can kind of see it shifting from the, the bluish green to 
the, uh, the purplish red. But it's it's just a wonderful ink. I'm I'm blown away by this one. The one thing I will say, the dry times on this, from my experience, are ridiculous. So be very careful turning pages. Um, I've gotten this on my desk several times already, just from flipping over a notebook or something. It's it's not fun. But it is a very very nice ink. And I honestly can't recommend this enough. If you're interested in the color, pick this up. Um, this one, like I said, is currently in stock. Still on Goulet. Um, there are two more that Goulet stocks. The Twilight Blue and the Nitrogen. Um, those are both currently out of stock. But you may be able to find them other places. But it's just... And now you can see it's it's really started to turn. But it's a it's a an amazing ink. If you're wanting to try something in the vein of Emerald of Shavor, but you don't want to have glitter in your pen or anything like that, this is the way to go. This this ink is this is impressive. I'm really, really, really blown away by this. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Uh, keep an eye out for another ink review next week. It won't be from this brand, but it is a, a new and interesting ink, so keep an eye out for that. And keep an eye out for another pin review this weekend. Thanks, guys. Bye.